I'm Ainsley with the Coding Clubhouse here with Ryan Jarvanen of OpenShift. So what does OpenShift do? Uh, so OpenShift is a project from uh, primarily from Red Hat and it's, uh, it kind of gives you additional uh, features on top of um, uh, a very popular open source platform called Kubernetes. Um, so we try to add additional security features and um, developer focused features for helping people be uh, productive uh, using these uh, new open source tools uh, that are built for container based development. So why would I want to use your company over others? That's a good question. I think uh, one of the reasons I work at Red Hat is because Red Hat is a company that uh, really prefers to work out in the open, uh, prefers to collaborate with other companies. So it could be you as an individual or with, with other large uh, players in the, in the ecosystem. So I think um, it, it's a great place to collaborate to uh, share ideas openly and hopefully find a community of like-minded folks to work together with uh, and, and hopefully uh, establish a consensus for what's the best way and most productive way to get work done. And that's really like you, you may be able to find your own best way to get things done, but eventually you'll need to collaborate with uh, other folks from without the industry. And so that really, uh, I think we do a lot to enable that conversation. Uh, what are some of the specific products that you supply? Yeah, so OpenShift is the main thing that we focus on. Um, you can, and that comprises a couple different pieces. That'll have uh, support for running uh, something called containers. We usually use something like Docker for uh, our containers. Um, we get a, a, there's also a couple other standards. Uh, we borrow from kind of a collection of open source tools. So uh, you'll have uh, Kubernetes included in there. Uh, kind of a, the best of what you would expect, that, what, the, what the community is currently agreeing on as the best tools for doing development using containers. So what we have kind of changes, but the, the main product would be OpenShift. Uh, that kind of ties all of that together. Um, in the past, we've talked about Linux distributions. I think OpenShift is a, is a distribution of Kubernetes. So if, if you understand how Kubernetes is useful for uh, getting multiple machines to work together as a cluster, this is really, really helping developers uh, be productive in kind of cluster computing scenarios. So uh, it's... Uh, uh, usually a lot of terminology um, and we try to make it uh, try to reduce the amount of learning that they'll need in order to get up and running and be productive. <laughs> What's your job? Uh, so I'm a developer advocate uh, within the team so we do a lot of outreach to uh, programmers, uh, partners, we try to get feedback on um, whether we're doing a good job, uh, whether we're uh, actually helping people develop faster or, or getting in the way um, as, a, as a product, uh, from the product perspective. And, um, you know, work with the community to make sure that uh, their needs are uh, reflected in what we're building and uh, also help them get organized to contribute to open source as well. So uh, I'll work with a lot of folks that are um, interested in committing directly and contributing directly to Kubernetes and OpenShift uh, and help make sure they are uh, comfortable getting started with that process. How has your company changed over the past few years? Oh man, uh, we've, we've gone through a lot of changes. OpenShift has been around for about uh, geez, uh, five years or so. It's, it's uh, been around for longer than Kubernetes has, and so we had a very major change when we uh, decided to uh, package Kubernetes as part of the OpenShift product. Um, that uh, was a turns out was a great move because um, GitHub did an analysis really uh, recently of all their um, most popular open source projects, and uh, they had a list of 
all the projects with the, with the most number of issue comments or the most discussion. And uh, Kubernetes ended up being the most discussed repo out of everything on GitHub. Uh, so huge amount of uh, developer engagement and uh, attention, really popular project. The thing that was really surprising to me that was that out of everything on GitHub, the second most popular project was also a Kubernetes project. It was OpenShift. So like the Kubernetes community has the top two spots for, for developer engagement, in terms of discussion on GitHub anyway. And uh, that just really kind of shows how, uh, how much traction this is getting, how many people are kind of interested in using these type of tools uh, to be productive. And, and hopefully uh, we're, we've earned our spot by giving them you know, uh, a really useful tool set that, that uh, allows you to uh, give developers uh, a lot easier uh, way of interacting with Kubernetes environments uh, and a lot more uh, tools for quickly uh, iterating on web-based projects. Where do you hope to see the company go in a few years? For Red Hat, uh, I hope they stay right where they're at. Um, you know, they're they're in a really good position uh, as far as collaborating with um, companies throughout the industry. I'm really proud of how the Kubernetes project is really kind of a not just a Red Hat effort, but a multi-corporate. You know, uh, IBM's getting involved, Google's involved, Amazon's involved, Microsoft's involved. Uh, yeah, all the great uh, folks that are really rallying together around collaborative open source solutions and wanting to reach consensus on how do we work together as professionals in the industry. And uh, having Red Hat so closely involved in that conversation, helping people uh, come together and, and work together on refining our tools and having a, a shared language for um, developing using containers is really, really cool. So I hope we, uh, I hope we manage to uh, work in coordinate, continue to work in coordination with the community and uh, maintain our, our uh, spot as, as someone who's really helping rally everyone together. We're really proud of that. <laughs> Do you have any advice for young coders? Oh man, um, I would like to say, I would encourage you to check out codingclubhouse.com for sure. And uh, after you've taken a look at Coding Clubhouse, there's additional uh, learning examples we're putting together at learn.openshift.com uh, where the developer advocate team has kind of pre-packaged a couple learning experiences, so you can go through and choose if you're interested in uh, JavaScript development, Python, we've got a couple learning scenarios. We also have a book called Deploying to OpenShift uh, that is available for download. We'll try to get a download link attached to uh, in the video comments or something, but this is uh, definitely something we have available as an ebook, and we're giving away as a reward in the booth for people who complete our learning exercises. So, um, yeah, it's great to have you stop by and and uh, uh, give us some feedback on on how we're doing. That's all for me. Bye. Thank you.